The Nemancia is a Spanish frigate in the middle of a four-month tour of duty as flagship of the European Union's first ever naval operation, EU Navfor Atalanta, drawn up to fight piracy in the Gulf of Aden and the Somali Basin. From this command vessel, the patrols of the dozen warships operating under the European flag are coordinated. The Nemancia also maintains contacts with the EU Navfor Command Center in the United Kingdom. Today, the Spanish frigate is joined by these highly maneuverable Swedish corvettes. The HMS Malmo and the HMS Stockholm, they arrive in Djibouti with a support ship. We are under the command of the uh, Spanish force commander and we are acting in accordance with uh, all directions and guidelines given to us by him. Because of our size, we are smaller, but we are uh, much more uh, maneuverable. So we can close up the merchant ships and uh, to, to make that uh, the pirates not can get aboard to hijack them. My uh, mission on board is um, to handle the guns. Um, I'm a rescue man and um, other stuff on board that can be important, like uh, steer the boat and uh, keep the area clear. The two Swedish corvettes are joining the operation at a time when piracy is in a seasonal peak. This footage is provided by the Swedish Navy. It's from their first direct encounter with pirates in the Gulf of Aden. The Swedish sailors are not afraid to make their intentions clear. In this particular operation, seven pirates are arrested shortly after they fire rocket-propelled grenades at a Greek ship. During the spring, there are few waves in the waters around Somalia, and that means it's not as difficult for pirates to attack ships as it is in the wintertime. At the same time, more attacks are taking place far away from the coast. At this moment, the situation is a bit tense. We are seeing a number of attacks in the south of the area, not only in the Gulf of Aden, but also uh, spread over the whole uh, Somali Basin. It's a worrying situation because the area is very vast, but I'm very confident we will be able to cope with this situation. Since the start of the EU naval operation, around 120 pirates have been arrested. Most of the pirates are handed to authorities in the Kenyan port of Mombasa under an agreement between Kenya and the European Union. The European naval operation makes it possible for international merchant ships to sail safely through the Gulf of Aden, and so far none of the ships that bring food supplies to Somalia under the World Food Programme have been hijacked. One of uh, our main goal is to escort the World Food Programme shipping and that's really successful because since the operation starts we have no, not any single problem with that. So all the World Food Programme ships arrive in Mogadishu safe and secure. These French and Spanish maritime patrol aircraft are also at the disposal of the EU's first ever naval operation. They're based in Djibouti and are capable of conducting long-range patrols. Piracy is no longer restricted to the Somali coastline and the Gulf of Aden, which makes this long-range capacity essential. The British town of Northwood, just outside London, is home to the on-land command centre of the European Anti-Piracy Mission. From this centre, naval officers from different countries liaise directly with representatives of ship owners, some of whom are also present in the command centre. They also deal directly with the representatives of other countries with Navy ships active in the area, like the United States, Japan and China. In the operations headquarters, we actually have a number of civilian officers from the merchant community working together with naval officers, and that is perhaps the first time in history that such a setup is in place. What I've come to appreciate more and more is the breadth of the European Union engagements in challenges like the Horn of Africa, the Somalia. Warships are clearly instruments of hard power, um, but we're using them sometimes in quite a soft way, if you want to use that terminology. But um, we're adapting uh, military force for use in an, an operation like this in quite an innovative way. As the High Representative of the European Union visits the Northwood Command Centre, he receives an update on the current situation. Afterwards, he says he's impressed with what he calls a complicated mission. I don't think that people in general are aware of the amount of effort which has been done, the sophistication, the, the effort of so many people. And uh, I would like uh, for people to know and to, 
to really get the knowledge of what, uh, how much good is being done. The initial mandate of Operation Atalanta is due to expire at the end of the year, but foreign ministers are set to agree an extension to it into 2010. At their May meeting, the ministers already approved an extension of the formal operating area for the European naval mission. This will allow its ships to fight pirates not just in the Gulf of Aden and off the Somali coast, but also all the way to the Seychelles.